quick video because oof she looked pretty good he looks pretty good in the garage anyway i wanted to film this video because i've been getting a lot of questions about um what kind of mods do i have done to my car so in this video i'm gonna go over the exterior interior performance mods that i have done to kuro so far so for the interior um, just have some carbon bits on the steering wheel. I am buying a carbon steering wheel soon-ish. I just don't know when and from where, but we'll figure it out. I have some carbon on the center console for the display and then on the dash, it's pretty sweet. And then I got this Squirtle air freshener because I got a Squirtle in the back. Everything else is regular, you know, regular degular. For external mods, I have, as you can see, obviously, made a video on it. I have the Z011 LE front bumper conversion kit for the 2019 and 2020 Camaros. Looks pretty sick. Um, just has to get painted. Um, it did come with canards. I took the canards off because I was like, I'm not on the track yet. I don't need it. I have the American Authority uh, side skirts. Painted in gloss black, looks pretty sick. I also have this uh, gloss black diffuser from Next Gen Speed, looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, and then for lighting, I have the smoked uh, reflectors on the rear. And then I have the smoked side markers right here. And then painted my wheels, but I'm buying new wheels. So yeah. Um, so for performance, I have, it's always so hard to open this hood because my hands are big. There we go. So for performance, I have the ZZP cold air intake. I do want to sell this intake and get an AFE uh, intake. I'll probably do that fairly soon. I also have the ZZP larger throttle body and I have the ZZP intercooler kit. I don't know if you guys can see that. CZP. So yeah, it looks really sick because you can see the intercooler through the grill. I love it. Um, and then I have the ZZP catalyst downpipe into the Borla Y pipe into some like custom pipes that I bought from some website. And then I got some quad tips off of Amazon. Um, these quad tips are like stainless steel. Um, I do have to clean them looking a little dirty. I have to clean this entire car, honestly. I want to say I've invested, invested. <laughs> uh, I put about like, probably like 3K into this car already. Maybe like three or 4K, I don't know. I don't really count how much money <laughs> I spend on the car, but uh, I put a decent amount of money into it. And that's all I have for the car right now. I did buy a new IROC Z hood and I bought an IROC Z spoiler and I bought IROC Z wheels. So this car is gonna look pretty, little, it'll look pretty unique, I think. Um, I just have to, I have to wait for all that stuff to come in. I bought it like two to three and a half weeks ago and it hasn't even shipped yet. So I don't know, man, I'm, I'm pretty much just waiting for the parts to come in. That's why videos have been a little slow and stuff. So I don't know, like, I, I gotta wait for parts, but uh, the car is getting, re like i'm changing the color on the car it's gonna be painted october 5th so that's in two weeks so i'll have a video on that obviously and then i'm getting the car tuned november 25th and in regards to tuning i don't want to make more than like 
350 horse wheel horsepower and then 380 pound feet of torque. I know at like 400 pound feet of torque, these cars like start to blow up. Um, there's also some like bad tuning shops with these cars. I don't want to go to a bad shop. I think I'm going to a pretty reliable guy. So we'll see, but I do not want to exceed 350 wheel purse per and 380 torque. I think with stock internals right now, that's like the best this car can do reliably every day as a daily driver. And then once I go build motor and I add the forged internals, then I can go a little bit higher horsepower numbers. But for now, three, 350 hertz per 380 torque is where I want to stay. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll have links to everything that I said in the description for this video, but there's not much done to this car. Um, it has come a long way since I bought it earlier this year and it's going to look even better by the end of the year. So looking forward to that, looking forward to making more content with you guys. Um, thank you for a hundred subscribers. I know it's been a while since we hit that mark. I have like 125 or something right now, but, uh, thank you guys for the support. Um, we're steadily growing. I know it's only a hundred, but like, it's still a pretty big milestone to me. I didn't think we'd get this far by the end of this year, but we're, uh, we're doing it. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I still have the stock bumper. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I want to sell it. I also still have, uh, this front splitter painted gloss black. It's for the last gen, uh, RS Camaro. So if anyone wants it, dude, take it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, if you guys are interested in anything, just ask me if I'm selling it and I probably am selling it. So yeah, I'll let you guys know about that. But that's pretty much it with this car. Um, it's looking good, looking good. Can't wait till I change the color. You guys can guess in the comments what it is, but you're probably not gonna get it. So I'll see you guys in the next video later. Save those manuals.